This video is a part two of my last upload, where I coded the Geometry Dash editor inside of Google Sheets. Although it came out really nice, I felt like I needed to use it to its fullest potential, which is why I had the terrible idea of streaming myself building a full one minute layout in a frickin' spreadsheet. Also, only a small percent of people who watch my videos are actually Canadian, so, uh, yeah, better get moving, nerds. Alright, enjoy the stream highlights. So, uh, we're gonna pick up from where we left off last stream, which was two days ago, and, uh, we're gonna make a GD level in Google Sheets. This is a Google spreadsheet containing a GD level that we built inside of it. This is the code for the level, and this is what I have left to do. So we wrote all this code on the last stream, and essentially what it does is for each object in this spreadsheet, it's going to turn it into an actual Geometry Dash object. We'll place uh, some platforms here, and then a big wall of spikes. Then you go to this GD tab up here, click Generate Level. When we press that button, all of this code here is going to run. So now we go to the, G the Data tab, open up this folder on my computer, paste all the level data into here, save, run this code. Open up GD. So look at this beautiful level. We just we just created a level called spreadsheet. If we open it up, you'll notice this level looks uh, awfully familiar. And you can play it. And it's beautiful. The main thing we are going to accomplish is building a layout. Because we have to build a proper level in this spreadsheet. This is this is pretty garbage. I'm going to put one really important rule in place for when we're making this level, and that is, this is all I'm allowed to look at when I make the level. I'm not able to test it, I'm not able to open it up in GD, this is all I'm going to get to look at. So, how are we going to make this layout? We're going to have to use copy and paste to place the blocks, and we can look at this reference if we need to see like how tall portals are. Robtop starts the level with just a couple of spikes. He, ease, he tries to ease you into it with a couple of spikes. So you're going to have a little bit of like room just to breathe. Followed by a spike jump. Very straightforward. And then tell you what, after that we'll do another spike jump. We can hang these three spikes on the ceiling. Use some chains because they look kind of nice. Tell you what, let me, get, let me get some music on here. What, what should we listen to? Last time we listened to the Celeste soundtrack. Tell you what, let's listen to the Rhythm Heaven soundtrack. YouTube's shuffle button is like the most glitchy thing ever. It's barely even randomized. Whatever, g give me something funny. So I think I'm just gonna go classic GD colon mode on this layout. I love making 1.0 styled levels. I'm guessing at least one of you has played a punctuation level. Would you say this is a good layout so far? You don't want the player jumping here, so... I can throw this on. Maybe one of these little beam things, they look kind of quirky. Uh, fill up the bottom with this. Uh, how about a jump pad? How many blocks does a jump pad launch you? Cole, and your face cam position is wrong. Oh. <laughs> the problem is, I test the face cam and it's fine, but as soon as I start streaming, I have the world's worst posture. <laughs> I really gotta do a posture check. <laughs> oh, I know what I want to add. I'm gonna add one of the classic jabates. This is probably gonna backfire so hard. I'm pretty sure that's gonna launch you into a pit. Will it? I hope it will. Would you call this a decent layout so far? I wouldn't say it's terrible, but I also wouldn't call it good. Okay, I'm gonna delete that, because it's bad. Maybe it's time for a form change. So we'll do the old Stereo Madness thing, where it kind of confines you in this little space. So what we have to figure out now is how much space we have with the ball. So here are the boundaries of the ball. We have... Let's try to lay this out. Let's select all this, and we can literally add a border to it in Google Sheets. What if we used 100% of the brain? <laughs> Why do you have so little space to work with in the ball part? Is this really all you get? As you can see, I'm absolutely terrible at layouts. You know how normally you put the, like these over the spikes to make them look a bit nicer? You can't layer two cells on top of each other, so uh, adding these was basically totally pointless. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do, actually. It's gonna go back into cube, but it'll be impossible if you go the normal way. And by that I mean, there's gonna be a quadruple spike. I vote, let's play this and see how good it is so far. Look at all this level data. That's a big level. I'm gonna drop the font size to like eight. 
The only thing holding me back from using the background trigger is that there's only one fade time. Right now, the background triggers always fade for 0.5 seconds. What could I possibly do to let you determine how much it fades for? Wait, what if I made the font size the fade time? That might work! Like, for example, if I set it to 10, that would be 1 second. 55 would be 5.5 seconds. I'm gonna do that after we playtest this. I actually- I just looked at the first number I can find and realized that, uh... Uh, wait. That- that's not geometry. <laughs> that's not geometry, Dash! That's- <laughs> Alright, this is Among Us stream now. I, everyone get your phones out. Why am I running so- f why is this- why is the speed set to three times? <laughs> what, what happened to all the settings? I'm just gonna go back to recommended. Hi, guys! Hi guys, three, two, one. Shh. Oh God, no, no, no! You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Uh, all right, let's try the level. Here we go. Okay, that is something we need to fix. This works fine, otherwise. Okay, that launches you to your uh, death, like exactly how I hoped it would. That jump is kind of sketchy, so I'm gonna move these over a little bit to that. That is a hard jump to make. Actually, no, it's fine. We were so close with the ball sink! Ball gameplay, fairly solid, not gonna lie. But it's really short, it's a lot shorter than I would have expected it to be. Let's code the background trigger thing quickly. So first we have to figure out what the font size of a cell is. For each background trigger, it's gonna look at the font size, divide the number by 10, and that's gonna be the fade time. So 10 becomes one, 20 becomes two. So if it logs one, two, and three, then we win. <gasps> there we go, one, two, and three. And that's literally it. We can now fade background triggers. So we'll start with like a long 10 second fade to purple at the start of the level. Over here we'll make a background change to like green. Maybe like 1.5 seconds, that seems fair. I should really be more consistent with my block design. Oh my god, I'm just not being consistent at all. For the ball part it's this, but everywhere else it isn't. Who cares? Let's make a monster. We can't squish the triple spikes together, which is kind of annoying. Okay, that looks wrong. Looks like he had his teeth pulled. All right, let's test this so far. Okay. Not bad! <laughs> not bad at all! I have to say, that that's definitely not bad. And look, these triggers even work flawlessly. All right, so how do we make good ship gameplay? This is the part where the chat teaches me. I was debating whether or not to put straight flight under there. I think we'll, we'll do it later on in the ship part. This is such bad ship gameplay. I'm just gonna do... Whatever my heart tells me. Oh, I have to add some more of these little stick things. I don't know, Robtop uses them, so I will. Let's put one over here. Put one over here. This ship part is very mediocre. And it's also very short. That, that portal is about in the same spot as Stereo Madness, which is kind of funny. Right now we are standing at 41 seconds. So we still have a while to go. I'm getting good at this whole drag and drop editing. Well, not drop, it's more just dragging. Let's steal some more ideas from Rob Top. What does he do? Uh, so between the orb and the thing, there's a three by three square, kind of. We're gonna place them like this. And only one of them is gonna be right. I can't move the orbs slightly. They have to be exactly snapped to the grid, so they look really bad. And of course, we're gonna go back into our ball mode where the block design looks like this. Uh, why do I change it? I don't know, but I do. Alright, so after this, uh, it's just gonna be, I would say this would just be your average cube part, nothing too thrilling about it. Should we test this? Let's add some background changes first. So over here we change it to green. What the? What did we just- What just happened? Did, did you guys see that? See, there it is again! Is it because of the images? We reached the far lens, guys! <laughs> Alright, let's make it slowly fade to like, maybe like darker green over... 69 seconds. All right, let's export this.
Uh oh. We hit the object limit, boys! Uh, I think the cell has too many characters in it. We should probably hit absolute up and tell him, like, yo, uh, you gotta make an update for Mega Hack. <laughs> yo! Melting ice! Cool. cool. What am I gonna do? I, I never really thought about there being a character limit. If we convert it to base 64, would it be longer or shorter? This is 49,000. If we convert it to base 64, how much will it be now? Longer? Now it's 60,000! Well, who would use base 64 then? It's not even compression. Gzip would probably work, actually. Actually! That's huge brain if we use Gzip, because I already have the Gzip function set up because you need to use it to upload it to Geometry Dash. There we go. So we've gzipped it. How long is it now? We went from 49,000 to 14,000. Damn! And... So it takes longer to decode, but it works. Let's see if the level actually worked. Also, we'll delete all the old copies because they're old copies. Why are there so many? How many times did we import this dumb level? This is probably one of the worst levels I've ever made. Still better than a recent level though, you gotta admit. The reason I made this is because I can, and I think that's what's so special about it. I did it for no reason other than because I can. This part's tough. That's not bad. That's not bad, honestly. I think that's pretty good. There isn't really anything I'd change. This, this, the timing here is a little bit tight. I'll add like one more part on the next stream, which will probably be like Monday afternoon. One week later. So basically what we're gonna do on this stream is we're gonna build a bit more of this level. Then we're gonna write a program that uploads it directly to the Geometry Dash servers so that... Remember this part where I literally like paste the level code into here and then run this program to upload it into my game? We're not gonna need any of this because you're just gonna click a button on the spreadsheet and suddenly that level is gonna be on the GD servers. So I don't know, let's just start building. I'll do a little stereo madness where you go up three. Then the last one has a spike. There's only like 10 more seconds of this layout we have to do if we want to make it exactly one minute. Oh, I, I totally forgot about gravity portals. Maybe I should add one of those. If you fall for this yellow orb, you are actually like terrible. Wait, here's an idea. What if I put the ship portal like up here? So you actually have to jump into it. I don't know, seems like it could be wacky. There's no rules when you make GD levels. Do you want to put a straight fly at the very end of the level? We've actually hit the end of the spreadsheet. This is literally the, as far as you can go on the spreadsheet, up to ZZ, because that's as far as I made it go. You could you could extend it if you want, but I think that was a reasonable link. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll end it with like a little heart. I have to I have to look up how to make a pixel heart quickly. That, that, that just looks like an arrow, not a heart. That's a good heart, let's go. And then the straight fly, it'll be like, let's give it two spaces. Actually, we can make the straight fly as evil as we want. We're not actually gonna be verifying this level. So we'll just fill this in, and that's our level. And then we'll also do in small letters, L, O, L. So this is where the new stuff comes in. Hopefully it's not terrible. It's actually decent. Ooh, ooh, and I am officially not a gamer. The question is, is it one minute? Yes, it's one minute and eight seconds, which means it can be uploaded as long. We're literally gonna upload this to the GD servers without opening Geometry Dash. Tell me that's not hype. So basically, when you upload a level to the GD servers, it sends a request to a certain area on Robtop servers. It's boomlings.com slash database slash upload GJ level 21. And with it, you provide all of the information about that level, including the actual code for the level, which would be this. This is the code for the level, the name of the level, the description, your username and password to make sure you're allowed to upload it, the amount of stars requested, the song ID of the level. So really what we have to do is we have to fill out all of these values. This is essentially me when I talk about coding. <laughs> so this is gonna be all the info that you can set up about the level. Uh, so for the name, are there any GD levels that have a name similar to Sheet or Google that I can parody? Sheet Step, that's catchy. I like Sheet Step. And then Craig spent the next hour attempting to upload his level to the servers. Unfortunately, he kept running into stupid problems. I could force you to sit and watch all of it unfold, but it's probably funnier if I just show a compilation of every time the upload failed. Enjoy. Let's do it! 
Check, check. Nope. Back to the drawing board, boys. Go, 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 go. Please work, please work. Come on, Rob Top. Come on, Rob Top. Ah, shame. Please don't be minus one. The suspense. Ah! Give it to me. No! We're gonna try this. If it doesn't work, I'm probably gonna break down crying and end the stream. Minus one. Alright, I'm gonna try to finish it off camera, unfortunately. We made an effort. We tried. I think that's what you it is currently several days after I did the stream. I'm not live right now. And I think I worked out all the issues. First of all, the level string was completely wrong because you have to add this part to the beginning, which is like the default values for the background, the color channels, all that stuff. I totally forgot about that. But the main issue was the XOR function here. Turns out it was encrypting everything completely incorrectly. It was shaving off half of it for some reason. Haven't actually tested uploading it yet, but I am very, very confident that this is going to work. Never been more confident, <laughs> even more confident than I said I was on the stream. If it's not, then I literally have no idea what is wrong and I'm actually gonna cry myself to sleep and delete this project forever. Here we go, please work, please work. I will actually like cry if it doesn't. Spent so much time fixing this, I'm scared. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god! This is the ID of the new level. <laughs> I spent way too much time trying to fix this. Here I have my levels over here. There it is. We actually uploaded it to the GD servers. <laughs> that took way too long!